Hi everyone, we're here today to film a little video to explain what our instruments are and why we love playing them. Um, we're filming from the Royal Opera House, I don't know whether you can see behind us, and um, it's a little bit noisy because they're setting up the stage for tonight's performance. So, I'm Vasco and I'm the concert master of the Royal Opera House Orchestra. I play the violin as you see. It's a small baby compared to what Eti does, but uh, I think Eti, you better introduce yourself yes. what you actually do. <laughs> so my name is Eti and I play the cello, um, which is a big version of the violin. It's a member of the string family and most instruments in the string family have four strings. So we've got the A string, the D, the G and the C. You know what? We've got an A too. Lush. And we have a D too. Days. We have a G too, but we don't have a C. Where's the C? <laughs> Where's the C? Oh my god, that's so low. <laughs> but we've got this. Ding! <laughs> <laughs> so you've got a higher one. Yes. So the smaller the instrument, the higher it goes. And how do you hold your bow? So we've got, we've both got bows. Yes. So there's two ways of playing the instruments. There's pizzicato, which is plucking the string, and there's bowing the string. And the bows are made from wood and horsehair, and you draw it along the string to create a lovely noise. Maybe you can demonstrate Vasco. Yes, and you know my horsehair comes all the way from Canada because those are the best horsehairs at Miami. So you're going to do the pits and I'm the pizzicato. Yep. Okay, I'll do the bow then. <laughs> so the bow, you basically hold it like this, but if you're not really good, you can hold it like that. <laughs> so I will hold it like that. Now with the proper holding, it's like this, maybe a little bit better sound. So you see, it's really easy. G, D, A, and E. That's brilliant, <laughs> love it. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about pizzicato, which is um, means just plucking. Um, uh, I, the re one of the reasons why I love playing the cello is because you can play beautiful melodies and beautiful solo singing melodic lines and you can also play the bass line which is normally pretty funky and groovy. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate for you now. Hetty, can you do it up as well? Yeah. Them? So you're getting in. I don't know whether you can see yeah, it on my fall off cool. the balcony. <laughs> So cool. But normally we sit down to play, so it's a lot easier. <laughs> You're better than a bass guitarist. <laughs> <laughs> and you see the cello and the violin, look at them. They're so, the little brother and big sister. Yeah, or yeah, let's, yeah, let's go with that. And this one is about 300 years old. I don't know how old it is. This one's only 20, oh, so it's a baby, so baby, a baby sister. Baby. <laughs> baby. Um, uh, what do you love about playing the violin, Vasco? Well, I just love that we get the best melodies. Uh, really, you know, the singers of the orchestra. So we just get the best, best melodies, and we get to play all the good tunes. It, uh, but I love also, also playing with Hetty. We do a lot of duets, and later on we're gonna do a duet for you. Great. <laughs> What do you love about the cello? What do I love? Well, I love it. Apparently, the cello is the closest sounding instrument to the human voice. So maybe that's why I love it. I don't love carrying it around central London, but I do put up with it because it is definitely worth it. Um, and she has to buy every time Katie goes abroad or travels, she has to buy a special airplane seat for this cello. I so do. It's, uh, and you don't even get two meals. It's just the one meal. Oh, Shame. But that's why it's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> All right then, well, we'll play a duet for you now. We'll play something else. Uh -huh. And you can have a look at the stage meanwhile. That's where all the noise is. Now, one of the best things about playing an instrument is being able to play with your friends. And we're going to perform a little duet for you now called Moon River. We hope you enjoy it.
play you something a little bit more upbeat and I think you're going to recognise it. Mm -hmm. 